2017 and a very good morning from Chesterton World of Adventures Resort. It's my second visit of the season so far and I'm here today with the one and only Charlotte. How are you? I'm really good. Are you looking forward to getting on maneuver this year, Gruffalo River Ride Adventure? Yeah, I can't wait. Here it is, look at the theme here. I mean, what do you think of the station? Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. It looks completely different to how it used to look. Yeah, of course, the iconic bulwarks used to be inside here. And we're back here and shared our review just a few days after it opened. Uh, and to be honest, I think it's a really good ride. What they've done with the stage here is fantastic. There's some really good smells inside. We'll head on there and show you some more footage. Also, when we was last here, I showed you some uh, construction footage from the new Chesterton Adventure Tree Carousel uh, up in Market Square. That's now open, so we're going to head up there afterwards and we're going to have a little look at that, the brand new edition that opened a couple of weeks back. And that looks really nice, all the theming on there. Uh, you can sit on different uh, sort of animals, can't you? What have you got? You got giraffes got on there? Giraffes, rhinos. What are you going to sit on? Giraffe. You're going to sit on a giraffe? Oh, yeah. I want to sit on a giraffe. Well, I'm having a giraffe. <laughs> But yeah, this is great, and of course, I mentioned it in the vlog last time, the smells in here are fantastic already. It's like a, a garden foresty type of smell. Uh, but as you go throughout the ride, the scents all change, and it really is a good attraction here at the park. A worthy replacement uh, for Bubbleworks, uh, it really is. I've always preferred Bubbleworks because of the whole it not being an IP. But with this, it's a good replacement, but I don't feel the same as I did when Charlie and the Chocolate Factory took over to Land Tours at Alton Towers. So let's get on board, I'll show you a couple of minutes of footage from the ride. And welcome to our vlog from Chessington, going to be a good day. And of course we'll get Charlotte's review when we come off. videos on theme park worldwide you'll know that I have got one of the bubble men from in bubble works and the one that I have got used to sit just here on the left hand side it used to be sat just there so Charlotte, what did you think to the Gruffalo? I thought it was amazing. I really enjoyed that. Enjoyed it. Any standout moments for you? It's in, just uh, the theming in there is really good. Like it's quite dark as well. It is. Which, Bubble Works was yeah, quite light, I, wasn't it? I really enjoyed it. I just thought the theming was really good. It was like a completely different thing. Yeah, they've done yeah. a good job, haven't they? Yeah, with that? Like I say, really it's a good, good replacement, that, isn't definitely. it? Definitely. But we're going on the other new edition now, Woo! which is the Adventure one and only. Tree. The Chessington Adventure Tree. 
and welcome to Animal Kingdom. Look at this, it looks fantastic. To be honest, Merlin are really stepping up the game with theming. They can do theming really well, can't they? Yeah, when they want, when they to, want to do it, really they well. can do it. I mean, look at this, yeah. we've got this big rock out the front. That's quite nice, and you can sit on the animals. I mean, it's not a full-size carousel, it's not massive, but what there is here, it does look fantastic. It's got all the LED lights just there underneath as well. And here's the queue line. It's got a bit of soundtrack on there as well. It's got its own music. This looks great, all the different effects. And I believe there's some water up there somewhere. I'm not too sure where it is. Unless it's not working today. It looks like that wheel's supposed to spin around or something. Of course, you've got all the vines that are coming off the side of it. And overall, this looks really nice. Like I said, this only opened a couple of weeks back. It's got a long queue line, yeah. to be busy. I wouldn't want to wait this long for a... Uh, for a carousel. But not Chris Franklin, he likes waiting for his carousels. Not seen Chris for a while, actually. You've got to see Chris again soon. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? All the other deans. Look at this. They spent a lot of money on vines, haven't they, this year? Obviously, with the Gruffalo, there's all vines in that and all the branches and things. And they've got them all on this as well. They must have had extra budget for vines this year. Right, let's go on. But yeah, this looks nice. What animals have we got then? We've got a giraffe. That like rhino, is it? What have we got around there? Tiger? A hamster. Thing. A hamster? Like what? A hamster. Where? Around the back. Oh, around the back, like yeah. The there you go. Yeah, it looks quite nice. Right, well, let's get on. Overall, quite impressive, that. in front here if you want to spin. You enjoying it? Yeah, this is so cool. It's a really nice addition. The theme yeah. is great. The level of detail all just on here in the centre of the carousel. I'm on a tiger. Is it a tiger or a leopard? It's a tiger. A tiger. Yeah. <laughs> all the vines coming down here. It's nice, this is. All these water effects. The, yeah, it's all water what's supposed to come out of these by the looks of it. Maybe they'll be on a little bit later on. Overall, this is a really nice addition. Yeah, this is really Nine out of ten for me. I think it's really good. I'm going to give it a ten out of ten. Ten out of ten from Charlotte. There we go. We've got some fake carvings in the middle there as well, like a lion and a few other bits as well. It's nice. Very well done. Good job from Chessie. Good to see Ramis' Revenge open then here at Chesterton. Plus top spin. I do miss Ripsaw back at Alton Towers. Of course, when I come here in the week, there's no queue for this, so it does mean that it's normally not in operation because it requires a minimum amount of people before they can send it. That's the good thing about coming here on a weekend. It might be a bit busier, but you do get Ramis' Revenge. I mean, I would like to go on this today, but I just don't want to get too wet, really. Let's see how wet they're getting them. <laughs> oh, no, uh, yeah, I think that's a no-go, don't you? You're right on the end. Yeah, if you sit on the end, maybe. Yeah, you know, no. we could give it another go. I'll give it a... Not sure. I've not been on it, though, for quite a long time. It feels like ages since I've been on it, and especially because we seem to be losing a lot of these flat rides. Of course, Thorpe Park have now announced that the Slammer uh, is now closed at the park after 12 years. That's a shame. You've got to make the most of these flats whilst they exist. Uh, so I might have to have a go later on. I might have just persuaded myself that I'll probably go on it. Sure I mean, tonight, though, we are staying in the Chesterton Safari Hotel tonight, aren't we? Yeah! So at least I have got to go for. I can get changed, put some new clothes on, so I won't be soaked for the journey home or anything. And then tomorrow we're going to Legoland, so make sure you check out the vlog here on the channel. But I think later on we'll show you a little bit around the hotels. Can't remember if I've ever shown you the hotels before. I don't think we have. Uh, so we'll show you our room, give you a room tour of our accommodation tonight at the Safari Hotel. Let's go on Toon Blaster. 10 minute wait, to be honest, queues aren't too bad today at the moment. God, that audio is so loud at the entrance. Here's Charlotte wearing the same hoodie she always wears, look. And those, <laughs> and those are a few people that comment, she's always got a Drayton Manor on. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I can't talk, I'm always wearing Disneyland from California. It's what? Yeah. <laughs> it's what? It's what? Are you sure? Yeah. Are you positive? Yeah, I'll put it in the washing machine. I don't believe her, do you viewers? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go on Toon Blaster. 
Another wild theme ride. Me and Charlotte were just talking about this actually. I actually think the theme in here is better than that of Alton Towers. I think the areas are really nice. Uh, I just think it's got a really nice feel to this park and to be honest, it is one of my favourites in the UK. It's got a really nice ride selection. Yes, it's a shame they've removed a few of my favourites. I did used to like the old Safari Skyway, uh, the monorail that ran around here at the park. But overall, it's a nice park and I like to look forward to seeing what comes here in the future. They have said there's going to be a couple more major rides coming over the next few years. So let's see what happens here at Chessington. Climbing the rocks is forbidden. <laughs> Can we get your carpet? We've got two for £10 on your rugs today here at Chesterton in Toon Blasters Q. Anyone for any carpet? Get your quasi carpet. <laughs> Just had a good ride then on Tomb Blaster. I do enjoy that dark ride. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the guns and all the LEDs, what they put in there. But overall, it's a nice theme ride and I do quite enjoy it. Charlotte likes that one as well, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I think it would be better without the guns though. All these have shooting a, rides would though, wouldn't have they really? Have it as a normal dark ride without any of like, the guns or the little LED lights and just have it as a normal dark ride. And I think there you go, you've heard it from Charlotte. You've heard it from yeah. Charlotte. <laughs> in terms of theming, it's a shame that it's been quite a few years now since all the theming around Dragon Falls was actually ripped down and Chester actually did a competition uh, for a fan to actually design some new theming for the, for the last drop and it's still not being built yet, I'd like to see them do something but I'm just grateful to be honest that we've still got this flume ride I mean we're gradually losing log flumes here in the UK now, we've lost quite a lot haven't we and more recently the flume at Alton Towers for SW8 Loggers Leap at Thorpe Park has been shut for the past two years so you've got to make the most of these flume rides to be honest because there isn't that many left but what is good to see is that Tato Park over in Ireland, just a short flight away, are putting in a brand new flume ride and it's got some Viking theming. I know you're all thinking Valhalla, uh, but yeah, it does look fantastic. It looks really nice. So I'd like to think that when that opens, it opens in June, I'd like to get over there later in the year and go and give that a go, to be honest. So I'll try my best with that one. But for now, we've got Dragon Falls. Can we go that way? The juicy drop. Are you ready for a juicy drop, Charlotte? I'm white for the juicy drop. There it is, the juicy drop candy. Never tried any like, 10 minute wait. Have you had Juicy Drop? Yeah, I used to have them when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. I never even heard of it until I heard that it sponsored this ride. Juicy Drop. Juicy Drop. Oh, let's go and have a Juicy Drop on Dragon Falls. I do love all this theming around here, and of course, it reminds me of the Asian Mega Troop just a few weeks away now. Not long to go at all. See you after the ride. <laughs> Thank you. 
Lee's not in today. Well, this is a joke. I need my laundry. Is, is it Alton Towers? Mr. Yeah, Lee's laundry. laundry I'm sorry. He's out today. You're going to have to go to the other place down the road. I'll have to take my custom elsewhere. You can have a cycle, though, if you want. From Shan Cycles. Oh, you want a bike? You want a bike to Legoland tomorrow? Hiya, Shan. You're right, mate. Thank you. You're on YouTube on Theme Park Worldwide. Say hi. Hello, YouTube. Hey. Do I need to sign a consent form? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, let me hang on. Have you got the form? Here's the form. There you go. There's the form. Hey, hold it up to the fence. <laughs> hold it up to the fence. Just there. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. No. Oh, she doesn't want to get wet. Oh dear. We're going on the monkey swinger. Bye -bye. On the monkey swinger. Have a wonderful time Bye. spinning around, around and around. <laughs> I love the interactors like that. Yeah. Really good. This is really good as well. Actually, the sun's coming out, which is nice as well. <laughs> you get a little bit wet on the monkey swinger. And these come up and scream. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oh my god, good job, it's a nice day. 20 minute wait for Cobra, not too bad. Queues are reasonable today for a Saturday in May. I think because we had the bank holiday weekend last week and then it was Easter just before that. <laughs> <laughs> Means that the park's a little bit quieter today. Let's go have a swing with the monkeys. <laughs> You got an impressive monkey to do? <gasps> that was more of a gorilla, but I, I'll give you that. That's better. <laughs> How was your ride on Monkey Swinger? I got salt. You did get a bit wet, didn't you? Look, Look at your leggings. Leggin. It just whacked you in the face, though, didn't it? All the water on that one. But now we're going on Dragon's Fury. I'm in the single rider queue. A little tip yeah. for this one. Just round to the side, right the photo booth, single rider queue. Main queue is about, what, 45 minutes, I'd say? It's not unbearable. I know last weekend it was really busy. Main queue just sort of round the top of the station. Yeah, single rider, there's like five people waiting, so may as well, haven't we? Shouldn't be too bad, yeah. So much better than Spinball, though, this, isn't yeah, it? So really good layout on this yeah. around Land of the Dragons. Yeah, really nice coaster. Love a good marathon spinner, don't we? Of course, we can't take you on the ride for this one, so we'll see you afterwards. Having a good day so far at Chester World Adventures Resort.
just had a good ride then on Dragon's Fury in the single rider queue. Took less than 10 minutes, so you can't moan about that at all, really. Also had a ride on uh, Griffin's Galleon, didn't we? Yeah. We've not been on that for ages, Griffin's Galleon. I've never been on it. Have you not? Well, you come midweek, it's only open from like 12 till 3 or some silly opening times. Or it was last year, anyway, I'm not sure about this year. So yeah, I haven't been on it for a while. I do enjoy this themed area of the park. Of course, Rattlesnake, really nice theme building there you've got, and all the queue line and stuff, everything there is really nice. Of course, Scorpion Express, Scorpion Valley just down here. The park looks quite busy today, but the queue times aren't that bad. They're advertising Scorpion, there's 20 on the main queue board around there, so, oh, look at that fuego. Got a little fire. It's good to see these Merlin parts getting some fire on their attractions, though, and hopefully, for what we've seen at uh, SW8, we might see some fire on that at Alton Towers, which would be good, because I mean, there's fire at Chessington, Thorpe Park on the Swarm, and then at Alton Towers. It's 20 on this one as well, so let's go have a look. It's worth it, though, for a quality Mac Mine coaster. I love powered coasters, really good fun. And the theming's really good around here. I like all the announcements and everything, what they did with this one. You're having a good day, aren't we, Charlotte? Yeah. Been good so far. And like I said, we'll take you to our hotel later on. We'll show you around. We're staying in an executive room tonight. The executive suite. The executive room, yeah. So we're going to see what that's like. If you wanted. I think there's supposed to be a picture in there, don't you? Okay. Of you, yeah, you're wanted for the looting of Scorpion Valley Gold Mine. The reward if you find her, 10,000 US dollars. You gotta notify immediately to the governor of Scorpion Valley. Please don't put me on it. I will. You know who the governor is, don't you? Alex Crump. Oh no. And he sits there drinking milk all day, so I'm going to notify Alex Crump. No. Then I'll get the reward. I like all little things like this in the queue line. It's a bit like a cheap version. You're right. For, <laughs> it's a cheap version of Big Thunder Mountain, isn't it, really? Yeah. All this theme and stuff around here. It's nice what they've done, though. I do miss the old mountain, what they used to be, all the rock work. Hashtag rock work. All the way around when it was the runaway train. You're right. Charlotte's in a little dance. We'll just show this with the rest of the vlog, I think. <laughs> oh, that's it, music's off. Sorry, let's get on. Oh, hey there, folks. Welcome to the Altonville Mine Tours. <laughs> You love goats, don't you? And of oh, course, when we went to Westman Safari Park, I'll let the goats you, out. Who let the goats out? Me, ooh, me, ooh, me, ooh, me. Ooh, me. Ooh, Charlotte. Uh, I want to see what they are. We'll have to come back. Yeah, there's a big daddy goat over there, or mummy goat, I can't tell. Oh, and there's the baby goats. Oh. We're in the children's zoo. And we're going to go and have a look around the rest of the zoo, actually. We don't, haven't been in the zoo yet this year. Don't normally go around it, to be honest. But Charlotte likes her animals, don't you? Yeah, but I want to see them walk about. I know you do. <laughs> she is funny, isn't she, with her accent? You make me laugh. That's it. I think the plastic ain't the real. No. Probably because the babies, Excuse that's why they sat there. Me. Can you get a. Well, when, when did you say the Adam? Because you saw them on the ago, park's Facebook page. And, yeah. I didn't realise there was this many. Oh. Yeah, Mommy goat. Awesome. Have a look around the rest of the zoo and see what we can see. Okay. Now wash your paws. Hey, you have to wash your hands now. Welcome to Trail of the Kings. Let's go and have a look at Trail of the Kings, Chesterton. Woo! If only I've ever been down here like a few times. I used to love going on the monorail though, because it used to take you over the gorillas. I One of my favourites. I gorilla because last time I came he ran off. He did run off. He, he saw you and ran off, ran didn't he? Off. Oh. It's quite a quiet area, Chesterton down here. I mean, the zoo doesn't seem to get that popular. I remember coming as a kid there, it used to. But they did quite a bit of work on this a couple of years ago and revamped it a little bit. Oh, there you go, look. He's the girl. <laughs> the Hello. Yeah. <laughs> what are these here, like crystals? It's like the diamond mine at Europa Park. 
Sean is out. Look at him. Oh, he's busy in here. I'll tell you about what I just said. Oh, oh, there we go. That's why. Look at that. He is massive! Dude, I've never seen a bird of that big. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> He's having a wee. <laughs> 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 the crowd likes that one. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a wee. It's like a fountain all the way down the side. There you go, look. Oh, no. Check out that area's built for him to have a wee. Look at it all trickling down there. Right, you're running out. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> These sort of animals do fascinate me. I think we evolved from these. What's he doing now? Oh. What is he doing? That's not what I think it is. Oh my god. I think he's eating his own food. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I wasn't expecting to walk around the corner and see that. Chatting to everybody. Oh. <laughs> and here he is. We got him out of the enclosure he and he's here. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, wait, no. Calm down, mate. <laughs> he's calming down. I'm going to call this one Mr. Lee Wood, everybody. Hello, Lee Valhalla. <laughs> Valhalla. <Ooh>. <laughs> Feed me. Put your I money love. where my mouth is. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's got a slot in his mouth. Got no money, mate. Sorry. Amazing creatures, though, aren't they, to see? Hey, people hey. worldwide on YouTube. Hey. Hey. Have a nice day. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that before. It was. They're amazing creatures amazing. to see, aren't they? Really are. They're locked inside where they came out. Wait, isn't the same thing? Oh, here he comes. Oh, he's spraying it all. Nice one. Yeah, he's going to come over the top of them. Really made it top of them. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. What beautiful animals. Give me a roar. Rawr! Come on, turn around this way, mate. Turn around. Let's have a good look at you. That's it. Oh, yes. Look at that. Thank you. Wow. Beautiful. All the uh, animals are out down here today. Gorgeous. Look at that. Look at him. Look, look at the You scared yet, viewers? Oh, look at that. Amazing. Talk about timing. Now he goes. And that's the end of the shot. Thank you, Mr. Lion. I enjoyed a good look around the zoo there. I've just come out and I've never noticed this before, whether it's new, but the old monorail, the Safari Skyway, used to run around the zoo. It actually used to go over the top of some of the enclosures. And they've actually used this part of the track, what they've kept up to put like these banners in down the side. It's quite interesting there, but yeah, obviously the track used to come around here, there's another one that supports. That one's still there because it's got a CCTV camera on. They've gradually took out quite a lot of the track though now. But yeah, there you go. Never even noticed that before. Must have been done quite recently that. I'm sure someone will know, comment below. to my shop here at Zafari. I sold you some carpets earlier on. Got some more quality items. Look at this, got a roll out mat. Got some briefcases over as well here as well. Get your laptop in there. One of my favourites here, we've got a backpack down here. There you go, there you have it, there you have your coin backpack. Got some tyres, there you go. Get down here, there you go, you got a little giraffe mask there as well. Get yourself down here to Zafari, the car boot's on till five o'clock tonight. See you down there for a bargain. Welcome to the African Conservation Research and Exploration, also known as ACAP. On the front row of Zafari. I do enjoy this attraction, but it just makes me miss Kilimanjaro Safaris at Animal Kingdom. Are we going to see anything today? Some flamingos or not? Oh, here we go with flamingo. Oh, here we go. 
time to get wet. Climbs when you sit on the edge. Oh. <laughs> Here it all comes. You might not know it, but flamingo are not warm pink. The colour actually comes from their diet of shrimps and prawns. Cool bird, eh? Oh, here we go, the giraffes are nice and close today. Look at that. OK, researchers, our satellites show you should be close to seeing some giraffe, or to use their scientific name, Camelopardalus. They got that name because they look like a cross between a camel and a leopard. Really close today. So put the two together and you get Camelopardalus. Now look closely, everyone, and take a note of how many animals you can see so we can document the number in this herd. Beautiful animals, giraffes. We think giraffe are some of the most amazing creatures on the planet. They can live for up to 25 years in the wild. They can grow as tall as six meters, that's 18 feet. He's eating the tree, that one. Legs help them to run at speeds up to 35 miles an hour. Whoa, that's nearly as fast as a truck. Their long necks enable them to reach the tops of trees. They tend to eat from different parts of a tree to ensure that the sex is Giraffe crossing the road there. <laughs> to go and see his pals on the other side. Oh, Have a nice time, mate. Enjoy eating the tree. Bye. Best view I've ever had of a giraffe on here. Wow. There's the beautiful hotel down there as well where we're stopping tonight. Two hotels here, Safari Hotel on the left and Azteca on the right. Let's go and see what else we can see. <laughs> Sounding so similar to the English word white, it's actually got nothing to do with the colour. Now, you may want to hold your noses for a bit here, researchers. Wherever you get rhino, you also get an awful lot of rhino dung. Rhino dung? Who? Oh, no. Male rhino like to be on their own, so they mark out their territory with piles of their own dung to warn off other males. Nearly as bad as the gorillas. <laughs> Safari is home to many different animals. Never had that before, that was good, going back to us a little bit, thinking we were going to hit the soap. I really enjoyed the party there, I think it's a really good ride. I like it. Yeah, they were, yeah, close to ever had them. We saw the rhinos quite close. We've seen loads of animals today, haven't we? I think you love Kilimanjaro, the animal kingdom. It's about half an hour long, that one. You see loads of different animals. Yeah, really good. One day we'll get you out there to so we've come back to see the baby oh goats. God. Here they are, look, they're out. Oh my God, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look, the gate's open so I can go in. The what? Do you reckon I can go in? I don't think that they uh, like that, do you? Look at the big one yeah. in the next enclosure. I don't want to go in. He's looking, saying hello. <laughs> I've never oh, seen him. Feeding him, they've come at a good time because they're feeding him. That's why they've come out, well. Enjoyed that ride on safari just as well, it was good, that. Oh. Didn't wait too long. He said 60 on the ball, we waited 30. They do like over exaggerating the queue times, yeah. I think it's so they can sell more fast tracks. So beware on that. <laughs> Head back down to the wild woods, I think. I do love the amount of thought that Chesterton put into the names of their areas. I mean, you've got the wild woods, wild, woods. wild Asia, yeah. and then one of my favourites just here in front of Hocus Pocus Hall. Do you know what it's called? Lawn. It's called the lawn. Wow! <laughs> what a fantastic Amazing. name! And there it is. The lawn. The lawn, which is actually a lawn. A lawn with some benches on. Fantastic. The lawn, everybody. <laughs> so the best till last, then vampire. One of our favourites. It is a classic, isn't it? All running through the trees here at Chesterton. 60-minute wait for this one, it says, but. 
is it going to follow the theme of the day? To be honest, we haven't really queued much at all. And we've done pretty much all the major attractions here at the park. I know there's a few what we've not done, but in general, we've done everything. We've done all our favourites anyway. Been a really good day. Really enjoyed it today. I was expecting to hardly get on anything, to be honest. Bear in mind, we didn't turn up to a little bit after park opening as well this morning. But we've done really well. Sit back, hold tight, the vampire is taking flight. You enjoy this family coaster? Yeah, I like this one. What do you like about it? I like how the cars swing from side to side. It just yeah, gives you yeah, a especially on the second feeling, section. feeling, doesn't it? I like it. Yeah, it does. Very different feel to your B&M inverts and that sort of thing. I mean, I do really like the ones that Vekoma have started doing now. They're like Flight of the Terrace or at Fulton's oh. Park, yeah. It's actually a year to the day that we were down there. Fulton's Park. I have to go back later this year and check that out. The Lost Kingdom there is fantastic, and I still stick by it and say it's the best themed area we've got in the UK. See, this doesn't look too bad to me, to be honest. Yeah, no, we haven't yet. I do think that, I mentioned it just, I do really think they are trying to make the cue balls look bigger than what they are uh, for the wait times for the ride, just so they can sell more fast track. It's definitely something to watch. Don't get caught out by it. Just go and give it a go. I do like all these new little additions. Yeah, this definitely is not an hour. It is literally around that bit there, and then you round into the station. Man, they're advertising that's an hour. Yeah, it's not very good. It's very cheeky that, isn't it? I know. It's probably 20 minutes tops that. Including what's in the station, probably about 20 minutes. Might even get two goes here. I don't believe the queue time board, guys. That's Sean's tip of the day for you. Let's get on. Again, can't get, take you on board this one, unfortunately. We'll see you on the other side. I'll show you some nice off-ride shots from around the area. It's still got to be one of the best ever stations for a roller coaster. It might not be as good since the chandeliers were taken down, but if you ever want to spot them, on your way back in from the brake run, on the left-hand side, if you sit on the left seat, you can just see them all stacked up, all the chandeliers, just when you make your way back round into the station. At least they've kept the flickering torches. It's part of my childhood, seeing all this. Much action over there, unfortunately. It'd be nice if Cheston spent a bit of money on that to get it fully functional again. You never know, Cheston are quite good at theming, so it's something they might do going forward. Right, let's go, last ride of the day. We waited in total about 15 minutes there. It was not a 60 minute queue as advertised, was it? No. How was your ride? It was a bit rough, it bashed my ear. Oh, the key I to that to one, really sit like forward. And well, so I was it. sitting forward. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> I was sitting forward and then it bashed my ear and then it fell into, over yeah. me. Oh no. And with the goats as well, you had a bit of a scare. I haven't didn't you? told you about the goats. We Go went on, what back happened? to see the goats, the baby goats, and there was a massive white goat with antlers and it charged antlers. at me. <laughs> 
Are the antlers or the horns? Well, whatever they are, it nearly pushed me over. <laughs> there you go, that wraps up our uh, time in the park here at Chesterton. We're staying over tonight, because like I said, we're going to Legoland tomorrow. Make sure you check out the vlog. We've seen a lot of fans here today, both staff and guests as well. So, hi out there to all of you, and thanks Hello. for watching Theme Park Worldwide. Right, we're going to go and check into the hotel. We'll give you a bit of a room tour, shall we? And uh, show you what it's like inside the hotel. We're going to the Azteca buffet tonight as well, aren't we, in there? So, I'll get a little bit of footage from in there as well, just to show you guys. Uh, it's an unlimited buffet. Oh, can't wait buffet. for the buffet. <laughs> really good hotel to stop in this one. Of course, we did get it on a, a staff rate, so it's a little bit uh, cheaper than working for Merlin. But of course, in general, you know, if you stay midweek, it is normally quite cheap anyway. Of course, you get your annual pass discount. Look out for the deals online. And of course, you're really close to London as well because you can get straight into the centre of London from Chesterton South Station. Ten minute walk from Chesterton Park entrance uh, just here. And that'll take you straight into London Waterloo if you want to go and do the dungeons, sea life. London Eye, Madden Two Swords, all of those. So let's go round to the hotel. Like I said earlier, two hotels here at the park and we're stopping in the Safari Hotel. It was the first one that they built. It used to be a Holiday Inn actually and then the uh, Cheston bought it out and uh, completely rethemed it. So let's go and have a look. I do like this music, the Chessington theme. Na -na 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 -na. Harry Turnstiles. <laughs> Here we are, level number three. Woo! The executive room, let's see what we've got. Bargain this was. Are you ready, guys? Do you want nine? I'm not very good at that. And we got. Oh, we've hey, got a jewel! Here we go. Like this. Nice, aren't they? Nice hotel rooms, look at that. I can see the view. I can see the donkeys and the giraffes. They're zebras, they are. Well, whatever they are. <laughs> You're not very good at getting things right, are you? Like, dinosaurs. Shut up! God, I'm sorry. She got it wrong. She got the dinosaurs wrong. There you go, look at that, what a nice view. Wow. See right there over into the park, look. You got all Zufari up there at the I top. I'm going All the different animals. Really nice, isn't it? Mm. Beautiful views. You see all the zebras down there. Zebra. Zebra. Zebra, whatever you want to call them. Nice, isn't it? Really nice room. It's a massive bed, big king bed. Whoa, look at that. All that on the side. Let's get some lights on in here. Let's have a little. I need the room card, Charlotte, please. Would you like it? Oh, yeah. we've got a complimentary bottle of water. Oh, we've got a phone. There we go. There we go. We've got lights. It's nice, isn't it? Shampoo. Oh, no, there's not a bath. Chest and branded. No yeah, no baths here. Oh, no baths. No. Showers only at Chesterton, unfortunately. You're down south now, they don't like having a bath. Well, you should. A shower. Yeah. You should have a bath. There you go. Nice rooms. Up that on the side there as well. Go ape, yeah, not like that yet. Some bourbon biscuits here. Yeah, you go, what's this? Got an there you go. Cheers. Have a drink each, that's it. Cheers. There we go. <laughs> Let's try some Brill. Cross, aren't we? It was a snake. Right, we're going down to the Temple Bar and Restaurant, so we'll see you down there, get some shots, and we'll uh, wrap up this vlog. Shots is in video shots, by the way, not actual shots. Not tonight, anyway. I'm gonna steal these. They're not the mine. Aren't the views amazing from this oh, hotel? They're so good. Look, you can see the giraffes. I think that's a gazelle down there. Then is we've got it? some is it viewers? And then we've got a zebra over there. Then a there's zebra. a crocodile. Wow, and you got some ducks as well. They're all play fighting just, weren't they? And the zebras as well. Yeah, I don't know what happened. We've seen loads of animals today, haven't we? Yeah. It's lovely, but yeah, a couple of years ago, they owned the Aztec Hotel, and that's next door. You can get to it either outside, or there is a walkway if you come up to level two, and follow it through this way, oh. and this will take you through to the, uh, to the Aztec ah! Hotel as well. I do prefer the Safari Hotel though than Aztec. I've only stopped in there once. The Emperor of Azteca. What noise was that? Huh? <laughs> We're going to the buffet this way. There's a lot of vinyl walls inside Azteca. I do prefer the Safari Hotel. It's well themed in here, all the corridors are nice and stuff. And you've got the Temple Restaurant located just through the bar here on the right. That's quite good though, I do like that. Yeah, little parrot. Oh, he's off. 
So just before we go for dinner in the Temple Bar and Restaurant, we're on Amazoo, which is open for hotel guests. We also have part of the reserve open at night as well. So you can have a walk around and see some of the animals after the park clones. Are you okay, Charlotte? You enjoyed your day? Yeah, I've had a lovely day. It's been nice. The room's really nice as well, isn't it? The executive room, if you want to uh, book into that one. It's quite a warm night as well. Some good views all around here. Hopefully the sea lives are what they're looking at improving in the next few years. I mean, the fact that it's a, a tent, effectively, doesn't look very good from the hotel. Especially with Chesterton loving their theming. Hopefully they'll sort that out in the long term. Even if they just put some brown sort of netting over it or something like that and make it look better. You have to walk along the rope. Go on, show us how it's done. That's it, wonderful. But I don't know about you, but it's nearly half past six. And I'm ready for the buffet. I'm not very good at this, am I? Oh, there we go, and I'm off. <laughs> Ooh. We're both giving up. <laughs> there you go, oh, there you go. You can see all the animals running around. Look. Right, we'll see you in the restaurant and we'll wrap up the vlog. And have something to eat, of course. Temple Bar and Restaurant here at the Chesterton Azteca Hotel. What a fantastic day. Hope you've enjoyed our little room tour and a little look around the hotels here at Chesterton. It's really a nice resort to come and stay at. It's absolutely beautiful. We've knocked back some plates, haven't we, on the buffet? This is just one sitting. I mean, you've had, what, three plates and a few desserts. I had two plates and a few desserts. I think there's still more in it for me yet, you know. I can't do it. I actually feel sick. It's nice though, there's a lot on offer, isn't there? There's a big yeah. selection, there's also stuff for the kids as well. So we had <laughs> We had some of the kids there, didn't we as well? And you had what, a curry was it? I had butter chicken, it was lovely. A butter chicken. So we've come to that point, the end of the vlog, what's been the highlight of your day at Chester World Adventures Resort? I've got two highlights. Go on, I'll let you have two then. The baby goats. Yeah. And the gorilla. And the, that gorilla, it was great to see, wasn't it? That's my highlight of the day. The gorilla. Oh, and the goat chasing me. So the goats, baby goats and big goat come as one. Well. Yeah, well, you've just gone into my uh, highlight there. We've seen Charlotte getting really, really scared when a goat, she was concentrating on one side and then one was getting ruined in front of her. And she uh, moved very suddenly and looked a little bit scared with that one. Uh, but yeah, it's been a really good day. Thanks for a good day, Charlotte. But we're going to have a nice show in the hotel, and tomorrow we're going to Legoland. It's Charlotte's first I've ever never time. Been to Legoland. I'm really You've excited. never been to Legoland Winter Resort. You've never been to any Legoland, have you? You're not even Legoland Discovery Centre. So, yeah, it's going to be good. I think you'll really enjoy it. Join me and Charlotte there tomorrow for another vlog here on Theme Park Worldwide. Thank you very much for watching. And here from the Temple Bar and Restaurants at Chesterton, that means it's time to queue those credits. See you later, guys. We'll see you at Legoland tomorrow.